What's up guys, I'm Bear Boris and today I'm working on my mom's Golf Mac 2. It has an automatic gearbox and recently it decided it doesn't want to go into drive or reverse sometimes. So I'm servicing the transmission and here's how it's done. This is the same transmission by the way on the diesel Golfs and on the Mac 1. So the first thing you see is this skid plate. It has one bolt on the front of the transmission over here and two on the side this side and also this spring is connected to it this is for one of the levers so I undid all of those and it just can, fell down I'm gonna clean it because you can see it's full of gunk next you'll see the oil pan it has one bolt in each corner standard bolts with 13 millimeter heads and I undid the back ones and slightly loosened up the front ones so the oil drained from the back and once it was drained I removed all of them next I saw the strainer cover and underneath it lay the strainer itself this is the considered the oil filter it has one screw in the middle and one on the side they are Felix head and they were pretty tight so I had to use my impact wrench now that this is out According to VW procedure, you can clean it if there's no damage, if it's not too bad, it should be reused. Mine is pretty dirty, but seemingly intact, so I'm gonna reuse it after cleaning. I'm gonna clean all of these parts and fill the gearbox with 3 liters of brand new ADF, and hopefully that will fix my problem. What's this? Okay, so the skid plate is clean. The oil pan is as clean as it can ever get. Also made sure to clean the seal nice and thorough and the seat on the gearbox itself and this is the strainer after cleaning i think that's about as clean as it gets so i'm gonna put it all back together now and now the oil pan the slanted part is at the front. The torque spec for the bolts of the pan is 20 Newton meters, but my torque wrench is on vacation, so click, 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 click. Okay, and now for the skid plate, this is the spring that I need to attach and it lives on these holes here. So I figured it's gonna be easier to attach it here and then clip it onto the car instead of the other way around. And the easiest way to do the top bolt is from the top, of course, and it's a bit of a bugger. After a short fight, I managed to persuade it to go into place. And now, Mr. Spring. Don't know if you can see that. I just finished installing Mr. Spring back in place. So everything assembled as it was. Now all that's left is to clean up the mess and put in some fresh oil. Just finished putting away the tools. Well, most of them at least. 
I found out I only have one bottle of ADF, so that's not gonna be enough. The manual says I need three. Today is Sunday, I can't go and buy any more, so I'm gonna go to the shop tomorrow, get a couple more liters at least, fill it up, and see if there's any difference after the oil change. Alright, it's tomorrow, and I'm armed with three bottles now, as well as this old bottle that I use as a spout. Okay, so I've put in two and a half liters, almost three, and there's already a reading on the dipstick. So I'm gonna start the car and put it into drive and see what happens. Then I'm gonna measure the level because it needs to circulate. Left a warning sign for my dad in case he decided to move the car. Let's see what's going on. So the car is in drive, the wheels are chopped off, and the level is... just above the maximum. So I'm gonna go out for a test drive and see if everything drives normally. Okay, so everything is up to temp now and I did a few miles already. I don't know if I'm lying to myself, but it seems to be shifting a little bit smoother and staying in gear. Everything is looking perfect. The kick down works as well which is nice and there's a bit of a straight over here so I'm gonna show it to you first of all let's go a bit faster there's the kick down and now the down the upshift smooth and another kick down shift works like butter the gearbox is shifting perfectly it's been a couple of days and everything is very very smooth up shifts down shifts everything's perfect so I'm really really pleased with this job I hope you enjoyed this video and you found it useful if you did drop a like ask me something in the comments and consider subscribing bye